Come on, people, I'm back. Don't you just like this new camera angle? You're probably thinking, why is the angled position right next to this guy's face while he's laying down on bed? Because I can't be up to get up. I'm telling you, bro, I haven't been asleep all night. It's like, <laughs> when you fuck up your sleeping pattern and you sleep during the day and then you try to go to sleep at night, it don't work out. <clears throat> This is why I have to stay awake. I, literally, I stayed awake through the whole night. And I'm going to have to stay awake through the day now. So I can go sleep at night again. To fix my sleeping pattern. Ah, oh, man. Literally, I can't go sleep or have no naps during the day or nothing, bro. Fuck. Anyway, man. You got to understand. You got to understand. I don't know, bro. I, I just come to realisation of this or... In my terms of thinking, I don't know if people think like this as well, but it's like the more you tune your character, it's like the more you start to like just see. It's like you're just start to just see things like for like see like you just be able to see things like approaching woman, approaching woman for like. Literally, what's, what I realise, most guys is, these days in this generation approach women for SEX, but see, as I said, like, the more, you, the more you tune into your character, the more you just become one, like, one in yourself, then it's like, you'll find that kind of corny just approaching women for SEX. Like, when I really do think about it, I don't think I actually got my way knowing... Because it's like you're just see it's like you're just using women for like they're like they're objects. Women are not objects, bro, you know what I mean? Trust me, women are down to earth women are the most down to earth people you'll probably come across out here, trust me. That's only if they fuck you. If they fuck you, trust me, they'll be off their phone this in person speaking to you, waffling, trust me. You think females ain't down to earth and don't wanna come chat and shit, trust me. When they're around the right guy. They give him all that attention, man. But yeah, bro. I don't know. I just find it corny. Like, I, I can't... I guess I could, but like... I just find it weird. Like, when you approach a female and when she looks into your eyes, she already knows, like, you're just a horny... Guy just looking to get in her drawers because that's what most guys do when they approach these women. It's like they just fully, just like, yeah, I mean, like, oh, yeah, like, the, the, like, she already, she's already anticipating what you're gonna say and um, do. Oh, yeah, well, I want this female or whatever. And then, look, she already anticipated it. So, when you're approaching them, coming up with whatever you're coming up with some pickup line to come get her she's thinking like oh this guy's just gonna you know what i mean he wants to smash he wants to have sex he wants to do this he just wants to do something see this is why i don't want you, want you to be in a mindset of approach like of looking at women for sex like stop being uh, this is why i say seem attention is the best path for take you off your sexual addictions because see, that's the that's I just don't want you to be looking at every woman as an object, because when you're in that mindset, it's like I'm telling you, it makes it makes everything corny. But I'm telling you, because there's so much more to women than just their body parts. Trust me, if you sit down with a woman one on one. She'll be more entertaining than your friend, your guy friend, whatever. Trust me, females can keep conversations going all day. They, they're wafflers, bro. And so if they ain't waffling with you or ain't talking too much, then they probably just don't fuck you like that. Goddamn, man. But yeah, bro. I don't know. That's that's the that's the conclusion I came up with. The it's like, the more, because I see it. I don't see it, but like when I used to like back in the day and shit, 
I used to see it a lot, you know what I mean? Guys going out here, putting all their time and their energy into women. Not even their time and energy, it's like... I don't know, bro. <sighs> Man, SEX is a, a drug. I'm telling you, put yourself worse before before a woman. I've been on seam attention for nearly four fucking years, bro. You can't tell me about no woman or nothings. I'm telling you, I've done it all without them. You don't need no woman for nothing, bro. Trust me. Because you can be separate from so many other guys out here just from being yourself and just actually having a like a decent pick. Like, yeah, like I said, yeah, if you do like a woman, yeah, you can go approach him and shit, but don't just be approaching every woman out here f for, yeah, you know I mean, for your own pleasure. Because <laughs> what I realized the more you do that and the more you like get turned down and shit, it's like the more you keep getting turned down and it's like it wants you to stop doing it. So, yeah, you know I mean. That's why I say, don't be listening to all these guys that tell you, oh, yeah, if you get rejected once, go try again and try again and try again. What? You're looking, you're, lo you're looking at women as, like, their, their lottery tickets are sat in, I'm telling you. <laughs> you got to understand, but you don't need women. You don't need them for, you, you don't need them. You want them. Man, you need to get your, your money up. You need to get your life set. You need to get that shit done before you think about pleasure i'm telling you man porn and all literally all of that shit is has made this generation only fans this has made everyone Lustful, I'm telling you. Corn makes everyone, it makes people lustful. That's what I realised. So when they come across another, they see the woman on the camera. So they see a woman in person and feel like it's the same sort of scenario, the same sort of situation. When in actual reality, it's not. Hmm. <sighs> Telling you, you just gotta love women for their beauty and that's all. Because if you love women for just getting your rocks off and just yeah, you know I mean, to smash then you're never gonna have a good relationship with them in your life. See, I just want you to have genuine relationships with these women out here because Guys put guys get in fake relationships with these women and wonder why it always goes sideways, weird ways. Because the way how you approached her in the first just really think about it, like how the fuck did you approach this female that you met in the first place? Like did he come up to her in some corny pickup line and she gave you a number and she met you after that? And you wonder why she don't like you, she don't even love you, she don't even see you as nothing, because you should have known from the start, man, I'm telling you, oh yeah, I got used, oh, all this blah blah blah, man, I got used, blah blah blah, hey, you. when the whole time you're the one that put yourself in that scenario, Telling you, if most guys didn't place themselves in these situations with females, they wouldn't have all this stress on their life, bro. I'm telling you, guys really let women stress out their life. How the fuck, how the hell can you let women stress out your life? Make it more hell, make it more, like, hard. Women should be an uplifter for your life, not a stressor, you know what I mean? God damn, man. 
I'm telling you, it's like the more you go and seem attention, the, the more you respect women because you start to realize they operate in a whole different kind of way. And it's like, man, they go through their own things as well. Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> um, it's like five in the morning, bro. Six, probably like six in the morning. When I'm making this video, um, yeah, this is why I ain't really too lively. I am lively, but it's like I ain't too dead like that. Oh, fuck, you know. But goddamn, man. Um, telling you, approaching. I, I, I said, but I don't know how you guys can do it. Like, maybe, yeah, maybe when I was, like, uh, when I was unaware about all this... All this information about just how things work. But I, won't, I, I never cold approach a woman now or flipping... Um, you know what I mean? Or some shit like this, because... It's corny, nigga. I'm telling you. That's what I realised. Guys don't even realise how much power they give women and why they feel so entitled to shit and why they move the way they move. They move bougie. Because of your lame ass, man, giving them all this validation. I'm telling you, I wonder why all these pretty girls out here get... um. You had this stuck up attitude and shit like this because they probably get like 10 i'm telling you now now that i know how a lot of guys work out but i reckon like hot women out here get at least 15 to 20 guys a day coming up to them with some corny pickup shit uh, trying to hit, hit um hit on them don't work and then she learns of them guys like how other guys will work so when it, she, she comes across more guys she'll know to do the same thing again <laughs> And this is why I tell you to be in a different category from these other guys because these, she's used to that. She ain't going to be used to the guy that this gives her a normal conversation or just... She's just interested of, in you just of the smallest things, just by you pointing out something, I don't know, unordinary. That's just... Like, I don't know. Just know, man, that women come last, men come first. But yeah, man, goddamn. Well, put yourself first. And put them women... I'm telling you, put women last, bro. The, I'm telling you. Once you realise they're the least your priorities, like... You won't give them so much leverage over you. Like, guys give these women leverage to the point where they allow them to disrespect them and say whatever they want to say to them. Yeah, it's just crazy, bro. And see, the the more you don't approach them like that, it's the more respect you have for yourself. So it's like, you won't even take that shit off them because it's like, bitch! I just went three years on seam attention or whatever, three years about no V-Bucks. What makes you think you can knock me down off my pedestal? See? No one will be able to knock you down because you're so strong, I'm telling you. This is why I always advocate and say, let the woman send out choosing signals and flow you and 
give you the googly eyes or whatever because you have got to keep living your life without them. I'm telling you, if they ain't coming in your path or they ain't daring you off, I mean, they just ain't coming in your path, then don't go out your way and go try to find them. Like, I'm telling you, don't go out your way purposely trying to find women out here. It's the worst thing you can ever do. Oh, yeah, I'm going to go to the club to go pick up Shorty. I'm going to go to the bar to go pick up, I don't know, another Shorty. I'm going to go walk around the street to go pick up another Shorty. Telling you, don't be in that mindset because they just put you in a mindset of, yeah, you might be in abundance because you're playing a lottery ticket, but it's like, it's just lame. Like, really do think about it. It's not even wait. It, like, it's not even wasting time. It's just lame, bro. Like, you'll look back at all that time you took yourself out your way to come out of your house, get dressed up, do whatever, just to go approach random. You know what I mean? Approach women out on the street that don't serve you any purpose. They ain't sent by God or nothing. They're just living their own life and <laughs> telling you and these guys when they put them on their pedestal like they just saved their mum this is why I'm telling you this is why women feel comfortable disrespecting a lot of you guys and yeah you know I mean I'm telling you man I think that's really all for the video to be honest but just understand from the title of this video because it's some corny shit out here man and that's one of them approaching woman for sex sex is a tool sex is a tool to put you in a grave See, I'm telling you, SEX will lead you down the wrong path in life, trust me. This I tell you, don't become a sexual addict and have that as your first hobby, your first, you know what I mean? Because lust is dangerous, that's how I realise, well, lust is dangerous. Like, you can be lusting over a woman, I know your girlfriend left you, still be lusting over her. she's with another man, you'll go kill the guy because she's she's with him, but she don't even like you no more. But that's because, you know what I mean? I'm telling you, lust can really... This is why I say control your lust, bro. End up in prison just because you like a female so much or... It's some bullshit, I'm telling you. But, bro, that's all for the video. Stay tuned. Latest guy on the platform you ever seen. And, yeah, man. And I'm out. Peace.